is it like being part of the Bob Marley story and being in this whole family of filming? Wow. Um, so first, come over here. First of all, this is, this is my mother. Hi, hi there. Hi, my yeah. mother. Whoa. So what I want to say is having my Jamaican culture, being a part of that. Um, my grandparents came to this country many years ago from Jamaica. And so in the 60s, after the rain rush. So me being a part of this movie is me basically finishing what they started. Um, and most importantly, for reggae music, um, I'm also an artist. So a lot of the cast members are artists as well. So it's just the utmost biggest privilege to be able to be a part of all of that, essentially. And you just had the red carpet in Jamaica the other day, wasn't it? We did, yeah. And how was that? Amazing. It was amazing. It was good to be at home where most of my family are from. Um, and just to see, I don't remember the last time Jamaica had anything like this. The last film we had similar to this was Cool Runnings. And <laughs> That's a while ago. It is a while ago. It is a while ago. There's nothing like this film, so, you know. <laughs> in, in some ways, the most important audience for this film were actually involved at the producer level. 100%. So how does it feel going into this, knowing that you've got their confidence behind you? Wow. Well, first and foremost, I think having them pushing us was important to just them being able to guide us when we were performing, what things would work, wouldn't work. Um, and most importantly, just people that have done this before and know exactly what they're talking about, <laughs> essentially, yeah. And what are you going to take away from this? Because uh, you're talking to actors, there are, there are some films that change them when they're part of that. Um, has that been your experience? Has it changed you in any ways? Um, it has, okay, so here's the deal. This is my first actual breakout acting role. I'm a musician and I, I normally work behind the scenes. So I do co-production. Um, I've worked with people like John Boyega, Idris Elba. I've worked behind the scenes. This is my first actual me in front of the camera. So it's just a, a new experience, full of excitement. Um, and yeah, it's just, just something that I'm, I'm, I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. So yeah. And, uh, and what was it like being on set? Because from having seen the film, it's very immersive. Yeah. What was it like being in that environment with all the, the cars and the instruments um, and the people? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm used to being on set, but for the first time being pampered and not the one pampering <laughs> is, is a beautiful experience. Um, it's kind of weird. It's like when you've gone through different phases of, of being on, on, on set or within in film or music, when you have a new experience, it kind of just creates like a, a 360 experience where you just grow as a person. Um, but growing on a film, which is so important to my culture, to my identity as a, a black British Jamaican, it's, it's everything to me. And just one good question for your mum. Oh. <laughs> How proud are you? Your very, very proud of him. He's done so many things over the years, so this is like sort of the icing on the cake now. So yeah, we're very proud of him. Both of you, have a fantastic evening. It's a brilliant film. You should be very proud. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys. <laughs> hey You Guys. <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!